Eric, we gotta talk about a dance for a good cause. Yeah, this is really cool. It's an event happening this weekend. It really hits close to home for those of us that were shaped by the arts, and I'm one of those. But the Dance Project is a nonprofit. They help keep the art of dance alive really all across the state of North Carolina, and they're based right here in Greensboro. And this weekend is their four and a half hour dance marathon fundraiser. I spoke with director Lauren Joyner about what to expect. So the dance marathon is a big old dance party fundraiser. You're going to have every 20 minutes, there's a different class, a different performance. All of the classes are open level. It's in the Van Dyke performance space and we dance on the stage. And the more the merrier, you can watch, you can participate. We also will have different dance challenges to help raise money. We're going to have prizes. So it's a big old party for a great cause to help bring the joy of dance to as many people as possible. Yeah, the marathon is one of their biggest fundraisers, but the soul of their organization is, as she said, making dance accept accessible to everyone because this can actually be one of the more expensive arts to participate in. You're looking at tuition for classes. You're looking at costume fees if you want to participate in any types of performances. And so we realized early on that if we really wanted to make professional quality dance accessible, we had to work hard to take some of those barriers down. And we do that by keeping our tuition costs low. We also have a really robust scholarship program um, because of events like the marathon and grant support and supporters from all over the state, we're able, we were able to provide over $20,000 in scholarships this year. So we gave out 40 different scholarships throughout the year to students who otherwise may never get to experience the joy of dance. It's a great organization and what they do. They also sponsor, um, I can't remember the official name, but it's like a North Carolina dance touring mm. um, event. So it goes all over the state and does different types of dances um, to show kids and get them interested at a young age. I know when Drew wanted to do it for a little while and when we went to buy all that stuff. It's expensive. It's expensive. I used to take tap, jazz, and ballet. My sister did as well. Uh, we did it for a few years. And not only are the classes expensive, you think about shoes. shoes. And if you have multiple kids participating, that's double the amount of costumes. I think she just wanted the tutu to be honest. But <laughs> she used to, spot her. That's she used to wear them all the time. But the dance project is great. I've actually taken one of their African dance classes. Remember I kept talking about, yes. oh I can't wait to take it because it's kind of like a fitness class too. But I took it with a couple girls at the station on a Wednesday evening and it was a blast. The instructors are great. They kind of break it down to you to where you'll understand it. So they do have some other little programs here and there where you're not taking an official class where you're going to dance and put on a presentation. Did you ever do, I did, I did theater growing up through high school. Did you ever do any of that where you had to dance for group numbers? Or? I did theater uh, in middle school, but then when I when I moved to high school, I was playing both hockey and soccer, so it you just didn't have time. wasn't at the yeah. time. Yeah, but admittedly, I really didn't know much about the, but my depth of knowledge about the arts was, was very shallow until a few years ago when the North Carolina Folk Festival came to town. Yeah. And then just going there and seeing all the different types of dance that exist that you didn't really know about opened my mind yeah. to just the possibilities. Well, check it out this weekend, and we'll have a story on wfynews2.com.